this game is looking to be a very fast-paced game because both these teams went for really strong side lane combination pairings. The 1v1, I think, is going to be pretty hard for 11 up here because uh, Yapsor skewed it, and now he's looking bottom for that first blood. And it is going to be Spartan, man of ritual. He's going to have a game where he can potentially pop off and make up for some of the early damage that Secret supports lack. You can see right now, this is the problem of the matchup that we were talking about. Early In dust fact, too. Ice is going to go for it. Early dust pick up. No mana for a Burrow Strike out of this situation. I should be able to cut him down eventually here. Gets the spins required. No culling blade needed. And might be able to get it with Nubito left alone at bottom lane. They try and get a little aggressive, but still the return kill is theirs. Two supports rotate around. And he'll get to deal with this huge push, which there is no other hero who can deal with it. Yeah. So maybe some fortunate timing there in some sense. Oh, dude, there I are. He dies. Able to grab him quickly. Telekinesis pull back into the Void Spear. Does manage to get a Burrow Strike away. There's another Astral Step, though. And uh, Nisha lands it perfectly. Killing the Sand King now ensures that this bottom tower will die. And he'll get the rune. Yeah. And the problem is the majority of it is enabled off this Sand King's game. He has a fast blink, which... Okay, this is big. If they can get it, no Astral Step, no Dissimilate. Nisha should be dead here. It gets thought oh first, though. God. That's going to feel terrible. And this shield is actually taking up so much physical damage. He's going in. Out. He's going back in for it. Oh, what a Don't kill tell for me Nisha. He lives. Don't tell me he lives. He lives. Oh, my God. He's coming back. Nisha, you absolute monster. Good enough farm to have, like, a fast Battle Fury and could farm stacks. But because they did that tri lane and it failed... She's the lowest net worth core in the game. So that kind of kills any real narrative about like how Brain could come back into the game. She just has nowhere to go either. Part of that offlane tower dine is ancients get open. Doug's just getting it. Well, there's some cold armor for you. This is not a game where he's just gonna go farm ancients. Try to gonna find a pick off here. It is going to be Yapsor, who last second does manage to get the shackle shot. Doesn't stop the damage of the sky, though. Meanwhile, 11 Burrow Strike. Oh, he's caught by the Ren that it pulls him back. He couldn't get over the cliff, and now he's dead once again. Ice now up to five kills. Uh, threat is what led Brain to their decision making. Maybe, but at the same time, your Sand King's the best hero to deal oh, with that sort no! of pressure. <laughs> and he's going to get called. Oh, no, no, no. Very early first Roshan pickup. They're going to give Nisha the Aegis because Nail certainly doesn't need it. It doesn't look like Ice is going to be dying anytime soon, not with how farmed he is. You're going to have to kill Nisha twice, though. That is a tall order. And Sumail twice. Yeah. This is the area you want to fight in if you're brain noid. He's just okay. keeping out if they know this. Yeah, it's an opportunity there. He's going to be able to jump the Wraith King. That's going to be life number one down. But Nisha did cancel his teleport. He comes right back at the fight, goes for the punish. The Astral Step, maybe burning out Thug. Still a maiden a ult. Still not quite done. Now the Shackle Shots. The male is indeed dead. They killed the PA bottom lane. But honestly, any trade of one, one for one for Brain, staying out on the map, all important right now. I actually think it's really big he didn't TV back there. They're going to be able to find uh, Thug, though. Oh, these, this cooling blade, man. It's hard to land. He does have a uh, blade mail now on ice, which is absolutely devastating. They this spotted is an him. amazing pipe game. They spotted Nibito, uh thanks to a nice aggressive ward. But Smart, at the same old. time, they spot the Chen. They do manage to get that kill. But Ice is here with a nice two-man call. And the rest of the team is closing in from the side. Ice should be able to get at least one kill here. Spartan's going to get burned down by the urn. 11's pretty low. And a nice Void Rem that catches him in the end. Nisha ensures a third kill from this team fight. Maybe even a fourth. Thug. Nisha got to go for it. No, he's just offering a high five. He says, don't worry, friend. My astral step isn't up just yet. Super early in the game. That's another huge amount of HP that Brain has to chunk through, and their heroes are not ideally designed to be able to do that at this point. I was convinced that Chen was going to be mega broken this patch, which hasn't turned out to be entirely the case just yet. Okay, oh, throw, him in. throw him into Thug and almost gets the kill. As a result, Nisha does claim the last hit, though, thanks in part to that double damage. They frostbite him, keep inside the Mystic Flare. He no longer has Sanky that Aegis. Oh, no, the Sand King's going to be caught chain-stunned before he could Burrow Strike back inside his base. And look at them immediately. Nisha teleporting up to the top lane. They know... Ice, he's ready to jump. Okay, the frostbite. It should be enough. 
It does that double timer again. Ah, nice silence <laughs> there. Good oh. re reaction there for the higher follow up from 11, but going on the axe, Telekinesis tossed him out in the Mystic Flare. Once again, Yapstor using that very nicely. Telekinesis, he's going to jump forward with the Frostbite, grabs Thug, follow up chain's done. That's going to be a dead Wind Ranger as well. Two cores down on the side of Brain. Didn't think about it, but this Rubik save is insane this game. Oh, yeah. Like the lift out of the Skyold, the CM spells, whatever it is. I say okay. that, and Nisha just under tier fours. So that's one way to chunk him. Dissimilate does get him oh, out of there, but Nubito, oh, he jumps in. He gets the BKB in time to be able to join in on that fight and get that critical kill. Now they're going to chase after Samael. Puppy says with you're no on your own, bro. There's no better opportunity, but he's playing careful. Here comes the Ice, thinking about going for the jump in. He sees how low that PA is, and you know he wants he's it. Going. Link is now he's back going. up, and he's going to go. Gets the call, beautiful one, that slams down the Phantom Assassin. Yeah, you can see Ice. He's the one heading Gonna over. Try. Not a bad opportunity to go for him. Do they have enough damage? No, the Telekinesis is tossing the him away. A four step as well, and all the heals coming in. And now it's going to be Brain. Turned around on his uh, Desire is going to be the first one to die. All right, Barton, they got him. Probably going to fall here as well. They did manage to still get two for two. Really nice positioning there with the Freezing Field. He's going to die eventually, but he'll get He's a living. lot of damage in. The Shackle came through. They did manage to take life number one away from the Wraith King. Can they get him a second time? BKB for BKB. Samael opting to go straight for Desire. That's going to be a die back on him as he throws out a last second rod of Atos onto a creep. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, Nisha Spartan, who also stalled. bought back, might just be able to get the kill on Nisha as he baits him in the Astral Step. They do take away that Aegis, but it's another die back on the side shackle, of Brain. Shackle, shackle. These two thugs shackle first. Can they get the crits to finish him off? They do! One last uh, crit to be able to finish him off. Nisha dies. Nubito jumping forward. Got to be careful, though, of these chain stuns. Leaning phase decisions that they chose, right? Because retroactively, in, like in hindsight, it looks like an absolute blunder, the decisions that they made. Because they don't look like uh, a bad team here. Is they're going to be able to go for the axe, slow down. That is going Might to be a very mistake, dead Nubito. He's going to be chain stunned. Severo Strike comes through. They do have the Mystic Flare. Once again, the Force Down is going to come in. The Focus Fire is going to be enough, though. Thug's damage is good to go. Samael's going to casually three-shot Desire uh, before he goes ahead and defensively blinks out. They've done a very good job of finding Ice. I think this is the biggest thing. Like, he is the mandatory target to bring down because it opens up the fight for your PA. If he gets to sit back and choose when he jumps, it's going to be miserable for them. And Oh, nice two-man stun there. Thug's going to be able to follow shackle. it up with a BKB activating. Another telekinesis away, and this one will save Nisha. But they got the first life of Samael coming back. BKB immediately oh, activated, but they do have a basher. Nabito, he doesn't want to take that man fight, though. He will accept the fact that Seeker going to back up without any losses, but it does at least extend the game further for Brain. Yeah, that's an interesting... I hadn't actually thought about that, because uh, they, they changed that axe. Uh, not this patch, but the previous patch, but now with the change of Cooling Blade and the stacking armor thing. Yeah, it, it helps it. He's going to be getting so much armor that Cooling Blade's going to be dangerous, and they're going to be able to chain stun the PA and bring her down. No so buyback available, and Spartan's dead as well. Adding too much to the actual fight itself, because it's just looking like Team Secret should just be able to close out the game from here. 40,000 net worth lead, five versus three, while really six. Seven versus three with Smail having a reincarnation and Disha having an Aegis. And, uh, desire. Dax for ice before the game ends. I mean, Seeker just respecting that PA buyback, but they're going to know the jig's up and this game is going to end real fast. Yeah, once they uh, they go for it, okay. Hey, <laughs> still play. He managed to blink right as Ice goes for his own blink. Unfortunately, they have no damage in response. They can dodge, duck, dip, dive, and weave, whatever that was. They're going to hide in their fountain, and Secret will close out game number one. Did not feel like this was just some random first phase axe, I must say. No, no. Like just looking at these lineups, I feel like Secrets is a bit more well-rounded. I'm a little worried for their early laning phase, because this monkey is guaranteed versus a melee hero. Generally, is pretty nice for him. I'm kind of curious to see how it goes in the newer mid lane, but he should do pretty well. And Skyrath Pugna, these are strong lane supports versus Marana, Marana Clock, so could see a lot more Spartan deaths in this game. 
Two second arrow, nice arrow step there. It. Well played by Yavstor in order to get in front of the arrow, but it may cost him his life here as it's gonna be first blood for 11. He uh, thinks about continuing to battle, realizing he can't go backwards, tries to go forwards, but uh, either way, he is dead. Safeling Tower did go down to this Chaos Knight. It was undefended. They've got the fresh blink dagger. This yeah. is so important that they get this kill right here. Nisha, they're gonna bait out the rune. This is a really He's gonna nice bait. He's going to go for bait. the DD. Blink in. Arrow. Arrow follow up. Get the DD. Clockwork is not going to be there in time, perhaps, as the battery assaults start coming out, but he's not there. Okay. He does catch up the Nisha, who turned around and goes for the stun, but now Ice 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 is here to be able to intercept Thug. Stuck inside the arena. They see him now. Actually didn't manage to blink away, but Burrow strikes down the river and can blink now if he needs to. Here comes... They were talking about it. Cinder and Sid, a simple stun to be able to set up the Skywrath Mage. And there it is. Gets the stun into the silence. Just a perfect combination. And Eleven. Hook shot. Oh, nice hook shot. They are going to be able to catch the Skywrath Mage here. They won't be able to punish Nisha. He's already hidden away into the trees. But at least they get something for what was a pretty painful death for the AM. I feel like Ice has been pretty quiet this game compared to the last one. That's true, yeah. I mean... He kind of had a similar laning phase where he just had a free lane AM abandon it. Oh, he's actually going to go for the kill on Ice this Ice Ice because oh. the TP was supposed to come in from the Sand King, but the Catapult died and Secret were there ready to pounce. When you the fight. Levin, he breaks the smoke. Do they see each other? He blinks away before Ice can touch him. Spartan now the other two supports in. are nearby. Spartan, he wants to go in immediately. It's just Silence. the bait, though. E Spear is going to miss, and Spartan will actually have the opportunity they to get cut the monkey tree. They cut the tree. Nisha is going to be caught. Nobito quickly gets that kill. Now he's Gotta get away from the Medusa and will be able to do so successfully. Spartan eventually died, but Eleven's looking to go back in while Puppy sits hidden in Viz. A little bit of a, a champy play here. There is a DD on AM if he wants to contest. Oh, that is big, but but he's gotta get here first. Yeah, and Spartan has no teleport either, so. It's getting stalled, though. He's actually taking mid-tower while they're doing all this, so Brame is doing a really good job slowing this down. The arrow, it is actually going to land lands. here. Are they going to think about committing? Eleven wants to go for it. He really wants his fast kill onto Ice Ice Time. It looks like they will be able to have it, but it's going to be at the cost of Eleven's life as well. I have in, the back. in. He jumps into the back line, immediately gets silenced, but Yapsor is on no mana right now. A follow-up silence, too. He's holding his manta. Holding it in for now. Now they're going to come in. In for Samael. Look to be able to throw him out of this game Manavoid. as quick as possible. And it looks he like can't they don't get need the man avoid. Oh, he gets caught by Nisha. That's why they pull back in, though. Eleven with the battery salt. The heels coming in from Puppy. A Yule's going down. Do they have a follow up disabled? They have an arrow to You're be able to land on it. You're not going to so tanky, but he will eventually fall. Three down on the side of Secret. And now it's Brame who can look to perhaps take Roshan. And they're going to be able to find Puppy. A plus one on top of everything else. Brame could not be happier with the way this game two is going now. Throw a Roshan on top. It's so annoying to team fight against. Dusa can clear some of it, but... Oh, okay. Yo, Spartan, what are you <laughs> Spartan, doing, bro? Spartan is in! In too deep, perhaps, but Thug is here. Okay, they do have the follow-up. They're going to try and go for the Skywrath Mage. The arena does bounce him away, though. Very nicely played, but Nubito is still going to be able to catch that kill. They use the Mana Void, though. Puppy, we actually survives through that epicenter. They need a little bit more damage. They're not quite getting it. The Stone Gaze even hitting 11 in the back lines, but now the Chaos Knight is All here. All the Manta Dodge. Oh, so many illusions surrounding this Medusa, but the Decrepify is allowing to live for now, and Nubito's actually got to back out. Eleven's going to die here. Is oh, the Armlet Toggle. Might get his blink off. intact still. Another Phantasm up. Yeah, they've got Phantasm. Hookshot is back up. Epicenter is ready to go. He's going to oh, find Nisha. Nisha. Would it be the dream, Spartan? Does he realize the that Nubito knows? He cuts down the right tree, and the arrow is there to finish off the job. 80 seconds down, and Brame... This is an opportunity for, to keep going if they want to. You can now Nubito, he's forcing it. Yeah, he really is. This is dying fast. Doing a little bit of ratting, pops Manta, blinks away, and uh, tanking up for the double siege wagon. So this Spartan's tier three is going to take a lot. Spartan trying to go in fizz, but he won't be able to do it fast enough. Though. Eleven's going to be in a bit trouble. The arrow comes in and actually nails the Mars facing away, but Eleven is getting totally diced up by the Medusa. Ultimately does get that kill. Yule Scepter, Desire. AM's going to die on the back. AM dies to Nisha plus Skywrath Mage, and Nisha dies in turn to the epicenter. Four dead on the side of Brain. But at the same time, Nubito is already red. bottom lane. Are under attack. 
This is a level 25 sandstorm. This is blind and slow. Ooh, that is annoying to push into. Yes. Especially since MKB doesn't work like that. They do manage to get the arena to catch the clockwork. That's all they get out of it because Thug got burrow struck out of the arena out of fear. Background protection is Arrow back up Mars. too. And these Phantasm Illusions, look at them, just get demolished by Samael. They tried to go for the kill onto Ice Ice Ice. It wasn't good enough. Nabito's hitting tier fours, meanwhile. He's saying you have to come back right now. Stun coming in. Manta dodge. Samael continuing to hit that tier three, but the backdoor protection is causing him some serious problem. Aegis out in 10 seconds here. No Monkey King or Skyrath at this fight. Finally, backdoor protection is gone. The Swift Link dodges the stun again, and... Raheem's gonna look to go here with the Sand King by, I think. Yeah, there's gonna be some heroes missing, but a perfect stun coming in and arrow to be able to intercept. Oh, Nabito shows up, but the Stone Gaze has already gone through. Thug trying to get the way, but the arena's gonna be able to block him out. Spartan, meanwhile, does what he can, looks for a hook shot out, hits Thug instead. Could Nabito be jumps in. Here it goes. Samael, he's gonna get popped here. The AM versus Juice matchup is still well and alive here as Brame hold on to that identity that their core against the opponent's core can still win that 1v1 matchup. He dies really fast. He's going to try for it here. Let's see if Team Secret... Are they going to call his bluff or Nabito? Tries to cut the tree. All. He tries to go in, tries to go for the tree cut. He's going to get Silent. But now he's going to be caught. Stun first, spear back, Silent up, he's dead. That's a bold play. I'll respect the, the boldness in trying to cut that tree. Got the wrong one. There's there's saves that can come out. There's the crepes. Well, that's going like to be a nice opener here. Nabito is not going to be caught by the spear either. The Manta Illusions tanked it up with a refresher. Didn't blink out. Did it this time around. Couldn't blink away. The follow-up stun from Nisha is there as well. He did not use his buyback earlier. They gave up the mid lane of Barracks. Spartan going to go for a, a very, very cheeky hook into the enemy base here before he uh, dies anyway. He's well, trying to go for Octarine on Chaos Knight, but he may never see the light of that Man item. Fight of the century. Not here, Phantasm. He turns around the goes Absor? for the Absor. The Absor barely gets off the Ghost Scepter in time. Ooh, that was almost a one-for-one -one trade off in an area that I don't think it ever should have happened. Stone Gaze is going to be forced out out of the Medusa. If they can go get away, nice blink from Desire. This item has been super valuable for him. He even tips Nisha, knowing that he barely got away like that. They could find themselves getting thrown. Look at the setup right now. Brame. This is a pretty good setup. It's it, The idea is there, but they don't know that all of Team on Secret CK. is behind him. They're going to go for it, try to go for the fast execution. Mars not going to be here in time. In fact, he takes a chunk of damage from the big blow up from Nabito. Oh, Eleven's going to be stuck, and that Skyrath Mage does a ton of damage still, though. A kill on Medusa. All right, this smoke play could be very, very big for Team Secret. Yeah, this is a big post. He's going to break on Nabito. Blank. Ice. Is he going to be able to land the spear? They caught him. Here comes the hook shot, though. Is that going to be enough to be alive? No, he gets caught. He can be activated. He gets away. Blinks oh. out. Brame is oh, oh, the bash. Oh, a big first hit bash coming out from Nisha. Secures the kill, and Brame is seriously on the back foot now. They're going to be forced into buybacks, and they're going to lose all their map control. Way too valuable in a high ground defense situation. And this Roche is not contestable anyway. Oh, Spartan, 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 Spartan. I mean, you know he's going. He has no fire. He's going to go for it, but it's going to be a little bit too early. He had to pull the trigger, and sadly, it will not be timed well enough to steal away that Aegis. Just committing for the, the full throne race build. And they're trying very hard not to show anybody here in this top lane, but now they're going to the bottom tower. He is chunking away. It's going to start forcing some people back. So Mail's doing the same thing here with the tier three at bottom. If they can get Megas, get out and hold their last lane of barracks, that's all Seeker really needs to do here. The tier three apiece. Four seconds stun coming out from 11, but he doesn't have BKB. Not for another three seconds. Oh, this is a little awkward. He's going to pop it now, perhaps, but it is going to be Megas coming in. Nabito has already taken the second He's tier throwing four. Them. They pop the Phantasm. He's, He's going to get it. for it. The Divine Rape. No. That is going to be enough to beat him. What? You goddamn god. Sells his butterfly, says, screw it. There's more than one way to win the Dota game, ladies and gentlemen. It's defend the ancient. And Sumail is not happy with that. Oh! Always blink, and then you get out on the map, and that'll result in Terrorblade getting super fat regardless. Hmm. If you just commit all these resources to Terrorblade, accelerating him, like one Terrorblade is not a hero that traditionally needs stacks as much as like a Gyro Medusa, and it kind of takes away from your tempo, but 
They might get this early kill. Close shadow call. Realm. They need a Shadow Realm hit and one more hit from Nubito. And they do get it. First blood goes to Brain. I mean, it favors both teams in an aspect. I think it favors Nisha on this Ember because he's just powering up at an insane rate. Yeah. I also think it favors Nubito on Terrible. And it definitely favors Brain if they're able to find the pickoffs like this. Yep, they managed to get that one. Cut down the tree, dodges the shot. I think this game feels very awkward for Ice. He's just not finding anywhere to use his strength. He should okay. get stunned here. Hit him with the stun. Do they have the follow-up? They do. Eleven nails him with the spear into the arena. And the bushwhack is not enough to stop him. The is going to die as well with the Terror Blade. A sneaky move by him. They're going to catch back. Spear back. Bramble hits first. Then the spear into the tree, trying to burst him with the Bedlam. There is the defensive nightmare, though, perhaps to save him. It's not quite enough, though. Now they have the Terrorize to prevent the Fiend's Grip, but he's caught by the bushwhack, and that'll be the death of him, as well as Spartan Team Secret rotate in mass their entire team to get some recompense for Ice Ice Ice's death. Orchid up on Coddle here. They're looking at Nisha. They are. They're going to be able to Dragon Tail into the Orchid. A kill combination that Nisha was certainly not expecting. And it's enough to be able to pop him too with Terrorblade backing them up. Team Secret have to retreat here. TV wants to fight. And Thug's going to be able to catch somebody. Up. He can blink stun, catches Puppy. And just a little bit of damage from the rest of Brain is more than enough to get the kill on the captain. I really like the Ice Performance game one on the Axe, but here... It's not been able to find they know some mail's here, and with the Orchid, they're going to have enough burst damage. Oh, it's going to be pretty close. He's going to take a decent amount from the Orchid, but unfortunately, the Terrorize. Two, one man Terrorize. Nice defensive slate. They Where scare him all steered? the way to the other side. Oh no, the Bedlam damage can't come in in time. He's going to be saved by that Spears. The trees were all cut down, and 11 was caught by the Fiend's Grip as well. What a disaster for Brain. That should almost guarantee the fight win. They're waiting for the 20 minute power rune. So they're gonna try and go for a Bramble. Blind one, BKB instantly going off Shadow Realm. And he does have the Essence Ring. No TP though, so he's probably stuck here. Nisha's gonna be able to chase him down. And he's gonna be able, okay, he actually gets healed up enough. He's gonna be good. Brewmaster Essence Ultimate ring. number one is gonna be popped here. This meta to meta. chase away, immediately gets Cycloned up. Trying to kill the Wind Panda so he can't Reload to it on the way out. Maybe they can catch Ice here on. He has another he ult though. In a second though, but his second ultimate is he going to be able to get it off? They try to go for the Terror Ice, but he's he caught by the guidelines first. Eleven. He's looking for the spear to be able to catch Ice, and they do manage to get him. Meanwhile, Nubito's a little bit low, but he thunder gets off the, the grip. thunder before the grip comes in. And now Puppy is left a little bit low, but here comes Nisha. They spear him right back. Fireball going out. It's Nubito getting very, very low. He throws out what damage he can to finish off the mail, and it's just enough to get the kill. But at the same time, traded out. Ember also in turn gets traded. He jumps forward into the bushwhack. Yapsor sees so low. 11. He should be able to catch up to him. Turns around. Bulwark. Oh, he's going to God straight. God to you push him away, but cannot get the blink out. Meanwhile, the sleeping laid down is going to set up another kill for Yapsor, perhaps. But Desire, he's got his Orchid. He's got his Blast. He's got perhaps enough damage to be able century. to kill Puppy. Is it enough? No. 40 HP. Looks like uh, the Dragonite could use some help here. Meta on the Roche. Ooh, straight into it, huh? It's a bold move. He picked up that Chrysalis, increasing this power spike even more. They really Blink want to fight. Immediately the stun onto the Find Brewmaster the brew. with the Terrorize to follow it up. No opportunity for Ice 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 to stay alive in the arena to ensure the plus one. Back into the Roche on pit they go as Brame now certainly leading this game. Not respecting this initiation that's come out from Brame. They're smoking up, looking for more. They might find oh, the best target. Oh, and Nubito want a kill to get. They know he doesn't have BKB. They're going to throw thunder. everything they have. The Terrorize is going to be able to buy some time with the Thunder going down. And it's actually Samael who's going to die. Brame returning fire at a perfect opportunity to be able to pick up almost two. Yapsor TP's away. They do have Thug running after Nisha. He's got a linkage, so unlikely to get that kill, but maybe okay, looking for they puppy. can get Puppy. They spot him. They get the vision from Desire off of that neutral item, and they get the sun before he turns around in nightmares. And now they're just going down mid. Yep, and there is potentially very little that can stop them. 35 seconds till the Tiny's back up. They've got the Ember Spirit Slight. Tier 3, a lane of barracks on its way. Thug immediately jumps in as soon as Yapsor shows himself, and they leave him to burn in the fire and flames as Thug finds another pickoff. This man has been so aggressive for Brame, and it's working out perfectly. One lane turns to two, perhaps, as five seconds left on the Tiny. 
Brame. Are they really going to go for this one? They are. Immediately, oh, Arena into dead. the Bane kill. He's dead. Meta pop. They turn around and try to deal with back. the Ember Spirit. Getting slowed, though. He, this slow is devastating. He's going during his BKB timing. They oh. almost got him with the stun. He's orchided. He's orchided, but they don't have the follow-up just yet. Thug's trying to get there. He gets a little bit more damage, and the stun is coming in. He can't go anywhere. Nish is dead on the other side. Nubito left a little bit alone, but a monster this Terror Blade is, and Team Secret are struggling to be able to deal with them, even in a four versus one. Frame smell the blood in the water right now. You can sense it. It's going to be over before Secret even has a chance to contest this. Yeah, they're not getting anywhere close to this. So yeah. this chip damage, it'll be annoying, but will it actually stop Brain? <laughs> the damage is just so pitiful. Nubito, he just walks away, shrugs it off. They want to fight outside of the base here. They want to surprise Brain. They cannot afford to just let them get onto the base. They go for a Nightmare, immediately removed, and now Puffy's going to be caught instantly by 11. They try and hit the back line. Samael went for the Dragonite. It's not even close. Brings him down to about half. He goes for a TP out, but the damage is terribly. He actually kills the first. Oh my god. They manage to get the Keeper of the Light. The the split, but fight. a second round of the arena. That's Puffy, a good he tries to go for the Fiend's Grip, but it's not going to last long enough. Nabito, he's going to be fine. Ember Spirit trying to go for Spartan to terrorize. It doesn't land. He gets the BKB off first. Nisha looks to be able to get the chase off. The Bushwhack doesn't land. The Dragonite getting the stun now on to Yapsor. Finished him off. Spartan says, In my death, victory. I they come to fruition. A toss back. Oh, a toss up in the air, rather. As they go for the tornado and let Nisha just try and get these. Kills if he Nisha's can. doing work right Nisha now. Has to jump Samael away. back in. Samael no BKBs. Back in, tries to finish off the Mars, and they should be able to get it too. With the brew coming back alive, they pop the thunder though. Samael can't afford to die again. Do they have the vision? They have a sentry. He let sentry me down. War. The sentry of destiny allows Nubito to get the kill on Samael. A stun on ice, a buyback from 11. He comes back into play, chaining the stuns. No more primal splits, no more buybacks, and no more series. Brame. Secret, one last attempt to try and win the fight that they did. was in the air so long off those Brewmaster lifts, but once he comes down, that plus the sentry that was there for who knows what reason <laughs> just ended Sumail's second life. They still have ages for 45 seconds. The throne isn't going to last that long. Nisha's going to have to find a way to take this fight in a three versus four. Immediately trying to go for Thug. It's just not going to be enough. Nubito's focusing on the throne just like he did in game two. He will have a repeat in game three. And ages burning out. That's going to be the life, but it doesn't matter. That is it. Brave on their feet right now.